What's up everybody? Today I wanted to make a little video on something that I've personally had struggles with this week and that is converting a Final Cut Pro project into a Premiere Pro project. So I have a buddy who lives in Memphis who also shoots music videos and he hit me up earlier this week asking me if I could do some transitions on one of his videos and I said absolutely. The problem was is that he uses Final Cut Pro to edit and I use Premiere Pro to edit. So we needed to figure out a way to convert the Final Cut Pro project to a Premiere Pro project or else we would lose all the work that he had already done. So I did some research and there's an app in the App Store that does this for you, but it's $50. And I wasn't really trying to spend $50 on this, so I did some more research and I found out that you can do it for free in an app called DaVinci Resolve. Now I already had DaVinci Resolve because I've used it previously for some color grading and it's a perfect app for color grading. So if you don't already have DaVinci Resolve, it is a good app to get and the best thing about it is it's completely free for every user. With that being said, you will need DaVinci Resolve for this tutorial, but let's jump right into it. So first things first, when Final Cut Pro saves out a project, it saves as a .fcp XML file. Now Premiere Pro can read XML files it just can't read .fcp XML files. So with that being said, we have to convert this .fcp XML to a, just a regular XML file. So the first thing you want to do is open up DaVinci Resolve. So now we have DaVinci open and it brought us to this like project screen, your home screen with all your projects on it. And we're going to come down here and we're going to click new project. And we'll just title this whatever you want. I'm going to title it XML and then hit create. So it's going to bring you to this. This is just a DaVinci Resolve project if you've never been in DaVinci before. But what you want to do is you want to come up here to file and you want to go down to import timeline and we're going to import XML. Now it's going to pull up this screen and you just want to direct it to the XML that you want to pull up. So this I have my XML on our desktop and this is it right here so I'm just going to open it up and then it's going to bring us to this pop-up page and you just want to kind of look through and make sure all the settings are right and everything here looks good so I'm just going to click OK. Now this error message might pop up 13 of 13 clips are not found and that's just if your footage isn't in the same spot as it was for the Final Cut Pro project or if your partner sent you over more footage you just kind of have to redirect it to where the footage is. So I'm going to hit yes I would like to search and my footage is on my hard drive and the music videos and Blake's music video and it's in this folder where all the footage is. Now the guy who shot this music video shot it on a Sony camera which is a completely different problem when using DaVinci Resolve and I'm actually planning on making a video for that super shortly. If you shot your project with the Sony camera Definitely make sure to check out that video because it'll be a huge help. I spent hours and hours and hours looking up what to do and finally figured it out. So now that you've redirected it to all your footage, your project should pop up. You may get some error messages like this, but typically it's usually just audio. Unless you're using a Sony camera, then watch my next video. So now that you've found all your footage and you've gotten your Final Cut Pro project imported into DaVinci Resolve, and everything looks good, all you gotta do is export it. What you wanna do to export it as an XML is you wanna come up to File, scroll down to Export AAF, comma, XML, click that. Then it's gonna bring up the page to where you wanna save it or where you wanna export your file out to. So I'm gonna do it on my desktop right here. I'm gonna call it XML2. <laughs> Cause that's fun. The biggest thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you click this little drop down right here and you don't want to export it as an FCP XML because Premiere Pro does not accept FCP XMLs. So you want to scroll up here and export it as an FCP 7 XML V5 file or just in the quotations .xml. So now that you've got it selected to export as just a .xml you hit save and then it exports for you and it exports really fast it's probably already done and yep there it is so here is my XML that I just exported so now all we got to do is we got to open up Premiere so now we've got Premiere open and all we want to do is we want to hit new project and we're going to title this project 
new XML. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to hit this browse button. And all that does is open up a menu for us to select where we want our project to save. And I want it to save on my desktop in this case. So I'm going to click desktop and choose. And now I'm just going to hit done. So now that our Premiere Pro project is pulled up, all we got to do is import that XML. And to do that, all we got to do is come over to File, scroll down to Import, click that, and then find our XML that we just exported, and select that, and click Import. Now it's going to take a second to get in. So boom, everything's imported. Now all we got to do is come over to our Project tab, and we're going to go over to the sequence that just got imported. And we're going to take that sequence and drag it over to our timeline. And then boom, our whole project is right here. So you may be thinking, Chad, this is ridiculous. It all imported as one clip. Everything's stuck together. I can't really edit or do much. Well, that's just because everything is nested together in this case. So what you want to do to avoid that is you just come over here to your timeline. And if you just double click the clip, then it'll open up the actual sequence and show you all the clips and you can come in here and edit everything to make it what you want it. So that's how you convert a Final Cut Pro project into a Premiere Pro project for absolutely free. I had a lot of problems with this this week so I hope this video helps somebody out there and if it does please give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or any video requests please drop a comment and the best way you can support me right now is by subscribing so if you enjoy this content please subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.